Hello everyone, welcome back. It's that time of year again where we unbox my hibernating tortoise and get them up for the year. Let's go. Okay, you know the score. Herman's in the fridge. He's got his own fridge. He is in the fridge because it keeps him at a stable temperature. I like to monitor the temperature between like four and eight degrees ideally. That's him. So I'm gonna take him out and just wake him up gently. Okay, here he is. So he's been in about four months or so. And I've been weighing him and checking on him and stuff ever since. And there we go, pal. So what we're gonna do is just just let him gradually wake up. Let him open his eyes and stuff. And then once he's awake, we'll give him a little bath. And then that's it really. Okay. So that's him just getting up. He's got his eyes open and stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna let him slowly wake up. And then a little bit later, we'll give him a bath and stuff, but I'll let him just kind of gently wake up for maybe a wee hour or so. But yeah, good morning. Welcome to 2024. I still find it fascinating um, that he just, he's been asleep for four months and then gets up like nothing's happened, Do you know? He's used to it. Okay, I'll let you slowly wake up. Okay, so Herman is a wee bit more awake just now. I've left him for about an hour just to get his eyes open and stuff like that. So the next step is to go into a bath. So it's just kind of tepid, lukewarm water, and I'll just heat him up a little bit gradually. And I'll leave him there for about an hour, and then that's it, pretty much. That's him back up and about. So that's that. That's Herman up and about now. Um, and that'll be him up and about till probably November, maybe even December this year. Um, I'd like to check in. I'll say this every year. I'd like to make like a summer video where I check in and give you a little update. And I know I say it every year, but, but uh, this year I promise uh, you can hold me to that. Um, I've been doing a lot more work in the garden, which has been nice. And it's been nice kind of securing it for Herman and stuff like that and I've also been trying to focus on like plants and flowers that Herman likes to eat to kind of like vary up his diet a bit <clears throat> and last year I really made a big effort to plant more stuff that he can eat so I planted a lot of like nasturtiums and things like that and maybe he likes that and while I was getting into uh, gardening and stuff like that. I made a book. Uh, <laughs> my book's called That's Me. My book's called Plant Daddy. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to it if you want to check it out. Herman does appear in it. He does have a few cameos and I do talk about him a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice, it's a really nice little book um, about kind of my journey through gardening and stuff like that. I didn't really mention last year, but I had quite a tough time last year. I lost my mum, so there's a lot of things in the book about getting through grief and mental health stuff and how like my kind of gardening and nature journey 
um, helped with that. So hopefully you check that out. Um, and again, this year I'm just I'm going to expand in that. I'm going to grow a lot more like nasturtiums that can eat. I'm going to try tomatoes and strawberries as a little treat. You know, just a wee once off every once in a while. And yeah, I'll check back in in the summer. But in the meantime, I'll leave like links to my socials and stuff in the description. But um, yeah, just leaves me to say uh, thanks again for popping back. After all these years, it's so nice to see people that come back every year and it's like an annual thing to get to see Herman uh, wake up and stuff. So I hope you guys have a good have a good year. I'll do my best to check in with an update in the summer and stuff as well. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.